In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of the snipping tool. The snipping tool is available in all the later versions of Windows. I'm using Windows version 8. So if you're using an earlier version, you may have to do this a little bit different to access it. In earlier versions of Windows prior to 8, you would go to the Start menu, you go to All Programs, then you would go to Accessories, and under Accessories, you'll find the snipping tool. But in Windows 8, the easiest way to get to it is to move down here to the bottom to your Start button. Click on the Start button, and then you'll have the Start screen. On the Start screen, you can just start typing, and it will do a search. So the easiest way to find your snipping tool, rather than browse for it, is just to start typing the word snipping tool. And I'll start with S-N-I-P. And notice over here in the right in the search box, it's searching for those uh, programs that meet the criteria that I'm typing here. And so you see Snipping Tool is listed here. I'll click on Snipping Tool and it will open up. At this point, I'll, I can create a new snip. So I'll click on the word Snip New here in the Snipping Tool. And notice the screen will gray out and I'll have a mouse pointer. And you, I can use the mouse pointer to select a section of the screen that I would like to be my, my snip. So I, I move the mouse. I drug across, and then when I released, this came up in the snipping tool. So I'm in the snipping tool right now. This is the snipping tool program, and this is the picture that it has captured. Now, after we've captured the picture, there are several things we can do with the picture. Uh, one thing is we can use the, the pen tool here to just draw things on the screen, on the picture. So if we want to highlight something, uh, point something out, we can do that using that. Another thing we can do is we can save the snip. We can click here on Save Snip, and then we can save it with a name on our computer, or we, and then we can use that snip for other purposes. Another thing we can do is just copy the, the snip, and it goes into the clipboard, and from the clipboard, you can then paste it into other applications. Uh, those are the primary things you'll be most interested in doing with, with the snip for now. If you don't like this particular snip that you took of the screen, you can do a new one by clicking on New here. And again, the, the screen grays out. You select a section of the screen that you want to snip. Let off the mouse. And then you can share or save again. 